welcome to California. There's the drum case I haul around. It's got two harnesses and my cymbal bag in it. There's my bed. This is a random, like, old-timey camera that they just have for fun in here. I haven't figured out if it works or not. And here is our balcony overlooking an awesome pool. And also, this hotel is like rainbow colors, so pretty awesome. I get a couch, and the girls get these two beds, which is fine. And we have a second balcony. Like, what is that? Who needs two balconies? That's so ridiculous. And this is one of the biggest bathrooms I have ever seen. So the fan in here is kind of noisy and annoying, but like, look at this. Hello, this is me. Um, I'm ready to go swimming. And look at that. We have an entire, oh, I'm zoomed in. We have an entire tub and this huge shower and that space. I don't know what that's for. But like, biggest bathroom I have ever seen in my entire life. And then if you go across the hall, you have another bathroom. Why? Who knows? So like, I understand hair wash. You wash your hair with it. What is a clem rinse? Is that hair conditioner? It is, I, I, okay, moving on. Body wash, okay, you wash your body with it. And then moisturizer, which I guess people use and is good for you, so that's great, but like, what are you? Also, I just realized, what flavor is that? Mint thyme, got it. Bamboo lemongrass, got it. Lavender lime, kind of weird, but I got it. I, I don't even know how to pronounce you. Any of you, I just, I'm very confused. But the soap smells nice. So I don't know how much vlogging I can really do this trip because I'm only here like two days and well, most of those two days are completely free. I'm really only here to perform at a wedding dinner for literally 10 to 15 minutes. That's why they flew us out here for two days and paid for everything. I don't know, people with money, man. So I have two roommates. I don't know how much I'm going to be vlogging. If I do, it's probably just going to be a lot of clips of pictures. So I hope you enjoy that because I'm definitely enjoying myself and I've only been here like a few hours. And can I just say, I love California. Like I got here and I was like, this is like Minnesota, which is my home, but better. It's like a better home. This feels like home, but better. I like it. I like it a lot. I got up in Central Time, in Chicago time, at 4.30 this morning to go to the airport to catch our flight, which was a whole business in itself, because you remember that drum case I showed you earlier? I had to haul that through the airport until I checked it. And I also had my suitcase and my other bags and, um, I have some bruises now from carrying that one-handed, but that's fine. So we got to the airport. This was the first flight I had been on where I had to go through like proper security and it wasn't a charter flight because I've been on two charter flights in my college career and um, I just haven't been on a regular flight since high school. So I hadn't gone through regular security with like the full body scanners and stuff since high school and I went through the scanner and it like... I don't know how they work exactly, but I went through the scanner as a dude. Not on my behalf, like I didn't say anything, but I went through it as a dude and got patted down as a dude. Um, <laughs> they were a little confused about some things, uh, but I, I guess they just assumed they were like medical stuff, which is valid. Or maybe they deal with trans people, who knows. Uh, so that was interesting. But along the lines of gender stuff, when I got to California, it was like people just started gendering me more correctly than they ever had. Like, they would either default to calling me masculine things, which is like, you know, not completely correct, but better than feminine by far. And then a lot of people would just use, like, gender-neutral terms for me. Like, they would look at me and be like, okay, bud, friend, person. It's just like, why can't everyone do this? This is so great. Everyone should just refer to me with gender-neutral terms because it's obviously not difficult. I like California a lot, can you tell? Head by first, In-N-Out Burger. It lived up to the hype, which is 
kind of strange to me because I don't really like burgers that much, but it was good. I just ordered like hamburger, fries and shake, typical meal, and that was like over a thousand calories, which I'm like not a huge calorie counter. I really don't do that, but I can feel it. Like I still feel the meal in my stomach. So <laughs> I won't be eating for quite some time. I'm gonna go swimming, so see you soon.